Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today we're going to cover my top five interior mods and add-ons because they are basically what I do in every car that I buy. And I thought I'd share it with you guys as I'm always seeing these questions getting asked. So before we get stuck into it, let's jump into that intro. So you bought yourself a TT and you're looking to make it better. Now, one of the first things I would do, so this is number one on the list, is a phone holder because there is literally nowhere to put your phone. Now, you could put something on the windscreen, but the issue is it's quite narrow and uh, yeah, it'd be a bit of a nightmare. So you want somewhere to put your phone. They do a phone holder that goes directly between the two air vents and it is very, very helpful. So that's the phone holder I have got. Very easy to use. You just pull your two vents out and then you can just stick your phone on and you're flying. You can obviously tilt it to where you want it. If we want it over this way, we tilt it over this way and it's just a great little bit of kit. They're about 20, 25 quid. You can get them off eBay. Um, you can buy them online, I'm sure elsewhere. Um, if you've got a 3D printer, you might even be able to make your own one. But all you have to do is just pull the vents out, slide that ring over, and then push it back. That is number one in the top five. Number two, as we're already looking at it, is the boost gauge. Now, this obviously does not apply to 3.2s, but for a 1.8 turbo, a boost gauge is the most important diagnostics tool that money can buy. Um, because if you have a problem or you think you might have a problem, all you have to do is look at your boost gauge and that will tell you whether you have a boost leak, whether you've got a running issue, all that kind of stuff, because it's all reliant on boost. I've known people to fit boost gauges and then be like, oh, um, I'm only getting 10 PSI. Does that sound right? Or I'm only, I'm getting 25 PSI. It's, it's great for finding problems because sometimes you can over boost, sometimes you can under boost. You might have a leak, you might have a dodgy boost sensor, like an N75 valve, and you're getting boost spike and you're having too much boost and you can blow your car up. So um billy cloud cloud nine customs does a sliding insert which is about 20 25 pounds you could buy a boost gauge this one is just a nice clean plain one um it's about 20 ish pounds on ebay everything i'm discussing in this video i'll put down in the description for you um so you're probably sort of 40 or 50 pounds all in for the boost gauge wiring it and fitting it isn't that bad uh loads of videos of course down in the description for links to them and I'll put one up in the corner as well on how to do it. But quite a simple one, you've got to take the glove box out and feed it up through the back into the engine. Not a bad job, but definitely worth having. A couple of times I have spotted faults just by having that boost gauge. So that's number two. Number three, and this is my favorite in all my cars, in especially old ones anyway, is a Bluetooth transmitter. Now this then allows you to play music from your phone through your ancient historic um <laughs> through your ancient historic head unit uh, because obviously if you want to retain this nice smooth audi and i mean it works fine it's just it doesn't have bluetooth so you can't play your own music you just have to listen to either a tape or a cd if you still own tapes or cds but of course who does um, and this just plugs into your cigarette lighter you connect your phone and then you have music playback you have bluetooth so you can actually take phone calls answer phone calls and all that great stuff so that is why i recommend these are about i think this was 15 quid i bought this the other day it's actually for the convertible um, but brilliant bit of kit so that's number three let's move on to number four Coming in at number four is the rear seat delete. Now there is a few options with this. Of course you can build your own, which is what I've done. I'll stick a video up in the corner on how we did that, including the, so this is, um, you make a longer base in the back, then you have a platform in the bottom and I've put a, par, a bar in with a net just to stop all my shopping and stuff ending up in the front when you brake hard. Um, there's also a couple of options. There's a company out there that do a straight one that goes all the way to the seats and down. And then you have the Cloud9 Customs, which retains the original um, boot floor. And then you add in um, the boot, the section they supply, and they'll also do a net and bar as well. Really nice kit. If you're not really up for making one DIY, it is a simple drop-in, take your seats out and drop-in kit. Probably only takes about, let's say half an hour to fit. Really simple, all one piece construction. So really nice job. And they offer a few things like different colored nets and stuff like that so really great thing and this just maximizes the space if you're never going to put anyone in the back seats you may as well get rid of them enjoy the space if you're going to go on a road trip let's say um, like i'm taking one of the tts to the nurburgring 
you can put a couple of bags down there and you can put some stuff in the boot or you can put your drinks and all your living stuff down there. Bags in the boot, plenty of space. Perfect Continental Cruiser. And of course, coming in at number five is the cup holder. Now, some of you may be lucky enough to have a genuine cup holder in your TT. Um, if you don't, like most, there's a few options. The original one, which is the one I have in the V6 that we're sat in now, this is the original cup holder. It has these little flaps just to hold smaller cans and beverages tight. Um, it's a nice sort of construction, similar look to the OEM kind of stuff. Great little cup holder, double one sits in that little pocket there. Um, they change hands for, believe it or not, sometimes over a hundred pounds. I've seen them 70, 80, 90, 100, 120 pounds on eBay. So they are not cheap. Um, yes, they're good. Are they 120 pound good? I don't know. The lucky thing is if you come in the car, keep it, you're onto a winner. Um, the other options are you can um, get a 3D printed one that pushes into this pocket here, into this cutout. It pushes into there. They actually do an armrest as well. It's an armrest and they do cup holders, double cup holders, a little cubby for stuff and a cup holder, all sorts of things. And they range sort of between, I guess, 15 and 40 pounds. I've not really looked too much into them um, because I use the third method, which is the Parrot Bros cup holder. You can buy a double um, cup holder generic one, which basically is actually made for sliding into one hole to make two cup holes. Um, but we actually modify it and trim it onto the trim that goes into the center console and it actually bolt it down and it's a double cup holder. Um, so that's about five to 10 quid if you can buy one of those. Great bit of kit. And to be honest, it's, it's just making the car a bit more luxury. You've got your Bluetooth, you've got your phone holder, you've got your drinks, your road trip ready. You know what I mean? So it's all about making an old car work for you without having to spend five or 600 pounds on a stereo. You're never gonna get steering controls because the car's too old. So you may as well make the best of what you've got. So we have one last bonus entry, which is a five plus one. So we'll get make it six. Top six is this is how I make my car smell so great. Now I'll put a link up to the full video on how this works, but this is a essential oil diffuser. It's waterless. It has the scent inside. You can pick from hundreds of different scents. It just pushes in there. This is wireless battery powered, so it's rechargeable. And all you do is press the button and it will diffuse a little bit of scent every sort of, if for five or 10 seconds, in intervals up to three minutes and it just makes the car smell amazing you can literally get out turn it on and then when you get in the car the next day it will smell great now as a big ambassador for lintro um, i've actually got a discount code to get you a decent percentage off um, it all details will be down in the description and plus if you want to know a bit more about this go and watch the video it fits nicely into a genuine cup holder what more could you ask for so they are the mods that I would do myself. I do to all my cars. Every car has a radio transmitter. Every car has uh, a phone holder it is, and the cup holders. It's, it's one of those things you just need. It's like modern um, comforts. It's just one of those, you're ready for a road trip. You've got a phone holder, you can have sat nav if you're going somewhere you don't know. You've got your tunes, you're playing your Bluetooth through Spotify or whatever, or listening to, to YouTube videos or audio books or whatever it is. Um, you've got somewhere to put your drinks, they, it smells nice. The only thing this one doesn't have is a boost gauge because of course this is the 3.2 V6 so it doesn't have uh, any boost. But it's one of those, maybe in the future, maybe if I become a full-time YouTuber and a company want to sponsor Turbo or Big Supercharge in this bad boy because I don't technically have five or 10,000 pound laying around to do it myself, but you know where I am if you want to. <laughs> but now I hope you found that helpful. Let me know what you have in your car if I haven't mentioned it. What creature comforts do you add? What mods are there? Let us know down in the, the, the comments down below. It'd be nice to hear your, uh, what you use because well, I might be missing it. I, I've, got, I've got a few cars that I could buy it. <laughs> uh, everything you've seen in the, the video, like I said, guys, down in the description. Um, but until the next one, bye for now.